Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is very exciting because it's from my trip down to Florida for my first full-time job interview. I'm sorry for this gross background. I'm in New York right now, so it hasn't like become green for spring yet. It's still kind of gross and icky. Um, but I fly down on Monday, stay in an Airbnb, which you'll see in this, have my interview on Tuesday, and then I fly back on Wednesday. So it's kind of a whirlwind of a trip. But if you're interested in seeing some vlog footage and how I think I did and how the whole experience of flying alone, staying in Airbnb alone, um, having my first big interview and then coming back, then just keep watching and let's get into it. So we have successfully made it to Tampa, Florida. I didn't vlog when I first woke up because it was like 3 something a.m. and I didn't want to bother Eric. He was super nice and brought me to the airport in Rochester. And then I had a layover in JFK, so New York City. And then I landed here in Tampa and it's super sunny outside. So I just took my jacket off and I'm ready to go um, out into the sunshine. I have a shirt, I don't know if you can see it, it says jet lagged on it. So hopefully people take that as I'm too tired to talk today. Um, I look like a hot mess. I had my glasses on, but I just put my contacts in and put a little bit of makeup on just so I feel like a little bit better. Um, and I can't get into my Airbnb until four o'clock and it's like, I landed here at 11. So I had quite a while, so I grabbed some lunch and I did homework because I brought my laptop. Um, there is a mall like really close to my Airbnb, but I don't wanna go and walk around with my luggage, which you can see all of right here. So I am just hanging out here for a little bit and then there's a Starbucks and a Panera near my Airbnb too. So I might go hang out there until they let me know. They said they're gonna let me in early as soon as it's clean and ready for me. So either way, I will let you know and check in when I am there. So I just realized that I kind of look bald in these vlogs, but whatever, I do have hair somewhere out there. Um, I just got to my Airbnb. First I went to Panera and I had like a cookie and some caffeine, which I really needed. Um, but it's like a little studio apartment, so I wanted to show you what it's like. Okay, so I'm standing at the doorway and you walk in and here's the bed. That's my stuff. And then there's a closet with an iron, so I am gonna hang up my clothes for my interview. There's an air conditioner, a little table. You get Netflix. There's a little fridge that I put um, a drink in. A little place, a cute little bathroom. Here you can see my outfit. Okay, and then just a little tiny kitchen. But it's perfect because it's just me. Obviously nobody's with me, so it's small enough for me. But this is my first time like staying in an Airbnb alone. So I'm a little bit like weirded out, but I think I'm going to survive. And if you see this clip, then I have survived. Um, but I'm going to unpack so that my clothes aren't super wrinkly. And then I'm going to change and then take an Uber to campus to walk around and kind of take a tour myself. And I think that I'm gonna bring you along. So you'll see it then. I'm a little bit embarrassed to be vlogging on campus, so I'm not going to walk around and vlog, but I parked myself in front of a 
like little pond thing. I don't know. I'll show you what it looks like. But it's just so peaceful and quiet and there's so many people like walking around outside which is really nice but this campus is like insanely huge which is crazy to me like i've been walking around for an hour and i don't think i've covered one third of this campus so i cannot wait to keep exploring morning and happy interview day I woke up relaxed for a little bit practiced my presentation showered am in the process of drying my hair right now that's why it's so frizzy and crazy um, but now I'm going to order some food on Grubhub because my interview isn't until 1230 so I want to make sure that I eat um, so I ordered some food and then um, I'm gonna get ready and call left my interview so i'm really excited but i'm also super nervous and after i'll update you and let you know how i think it went hello everyone so i know that i'm not in my dress clothes and i didn't show you what i wore for my interview but i was sweating when i got back and just wanted to put on comfy clothes so i put on like a insert coffee to begin shirt because i am literally drained after a four hour interview Let's start by saying it went really well and it was a really good experience, but my voice is like because I just am so tired from talking for four hours. But to my interview, I wore black dress pants, black flats, a black blazer, and then a, I'll show you the shirt actually, um, patterned short sleeve shirt, this pattern, and then just like a black cami under it. And I just wore my hair straight and I had these hoops on. Um, <clears throat> but my, I think I said earlier that I ordered food. So I ordered food, I don't know, like an hour and 15 minutes in advance or something. And it took them so long to bring it. I only had five minutes to eat before I had to go for my interview. So now I'm going to eat <laughs> what I didn't eat before. So I ordered, um, ugh my arm um i ordered from wings express or something and i got chicken fingers and fries so that's what i'm gonna eat right now and i got a soda because i didn't have coffee so i want some kind of um caffeine i can't remember if i told you guys this i got an apple juice for tomorrow morning on my way to the airport and i got a smoothie a fruit smoothie because i love florida smoothies but I didn't have time to drink it so I put it in the fridge and now it's kind of like separated and gross but I think I'm going to try to stir it and see if I can still drink it. Um, not that you care but it's 4.42 so my interview ended at 4 and then I lifted back here. Um, I'm going to update my friends and family about how the interview went and then I'm honestly probably going to watch YouTube or do homework because like I said, I'm drained and I don't really feel like paying to go do something by myself. Um, but I wanted to let you know that the interview did go well. Um, it was just very long, like I said. Um, and I should find out within a week or two. But honestly, even if I don't get the position, it was so worth coming and walking around that campus. It's so beautiful. And everyone was just so incredibly nice. So the experience of the interview, honestly so worth it but i am happy it's done because interviews are stressful and now i can breathe um but i will update you either later if i end up having something to say but honestly i'm not doing anything so i can't really update you on anything um and then tomorrow i fly back to i land in LaGuardia, New York City for a layover and then I fly back to Rochester. Um, so I'll definitely vlog then and keep you posted but for now I am going to stop talking, shove my face with some chicken fingers and french fries and relax. 
one more thing so i literally have the best time because last night when i got back from walking around campus it started downpouring as soon as i got in the house so i completely missed it and just after i ended vlogging like right when i laid down and got in bed and <clears throat> got back whatever it's downpouring i don't know if you can hear it but it's like intensely raining um but i'm just relaxing because i feel like i deserve it i'm watching youtube and there's this youtuber christina randall i don't know if you've ever heard of her but pretty much she shares her stories of when she went to jail and prison and what got her there and what it was like in there and i love learning about like life in prison and whatever like watching documentaries but it's so interesting watching her videos where she's just so real and honest um let me turn this around and i'll show you don't mind all my stuff um but it's her so i uh recommend watching if you're interested in that kind of stuff so i know how rough i look right now but i am in new york city on my layover and i just wanted to vlog quick to show you this ten dollar salad that i just got and it's not even halfway full like i don't know if you can see that there's like nothing in it it's probably a small salad from um donald's and it was ten dollars so i just needed to share that experience with somebody and people are probably judging me for vlogging but i got up at four o'clock this morning and i've been walking all over and our cleaning was very um like there was a lot of turbulence but it's okay because i'm almost home after this flight i'll be back in rochester and going to try to knit because I'm very tired. So I'm going to go eat my $10 small salad and I'll check in with you later. So as I mentioned, I'm now back in New York, hence the grossness and not as bright and sunny as Florida, um, but it is 50 degrees out today, so I have a short sleeve shirt on, which is nice, and it's yellow because happiness, Florida, sunshine, whatever. Um, but if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you aren't already, and I will see you in my next video.